everyone, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. Rachel here, I hope you're all well. So for today's video, I'm going to be working with the paper bags that we made in our last video. So if you haven't yet seen the last video, make sure you get back and check out how to do it because yesterday's video, I showed you how to make your own uh, paper bags. Um, just really, if you're not able to get hold of any of the little brown paper bags, then at least you can still craft along with some of these projects we're gonna do um, by making your own. And I'm gonna be working with my own ones today so that you can see um, that they do work. So what we're going to make today are these really easy, super cute uh, paper bag pockets with um, accordion style folder pockets inside. Um, now, this is not my idea. This idea has come from, um, well, I've seen it made by Julia at Camellia Crafts Designs. She's on YouTube. I will put the link to her video uh, in the description box below. If I forget, please somebody mention it to me. <laughs> um, and she credits seeing it and being inspired by a lady on Instagram called Lise Creates. I will also put her Instagram tag below. And Lise then credits her being inspired by another lady on Instagram called Sori, I think you say it, 5598. So that's her kind of like um, Instagram name. Um, so just so we're clear, this is not my idea. <laughs> Um, but yes, go and check out how those other ladies have also uh, this project in their own style too. So kind of you to see different ways that it's made. But basically, the crux of it is we're going to use a paper bag and we are going to make um, a little pocket that opens up and has an accordion style pocket inside. So it is super easy, really simple to do, and I think they look really, really cute. So without any more delay, Let's crack on. So the first thing that you need to do is to get one of your paper bags. So I'm going to use uh, make a decision this one here. Um, so your paper bag is folded, obviously in this position. You're going to be working on it upside down. Um, and think about now, obviously looking at the, the the bag here. Think about now how it's going to end up, because obviously with a paper bag you can choose either side. If you this is if you're using patterned paper, obviously if you're using um, a brown paper bag it doesn't matter you can just follow the folds but if you are using patterned paper just bear in mind that it's going to go up like this so think about what you want as your front um the front of your little pocket so i'm going to use this page here so what you need to do is the flap that folds down over the front you need to cut off so we're going to just cut along this fold line here so Let's do that first. Just be very, very careful not to cut um, below here because obviously then you'll be cutting into the structure of the bag. So just super carefully on the fold, we're going to take that flap off there. So let's just do that now. Okay, so there we go. So now you should have, let's get rid of that a second. Now, everybody that sat and made all those paper bags yesterday is going to be thinking, oh my gosh, that took me ages to fold and glue all that. But honestly, trust me, there's a method in my madness. So I'm just going to just tidy that bit up there because that's going to get in the way otherwise. So we don't need all of that overhang. So if you watch um, Julia's video on um, Camellia Crafts Designs, I have to say, by the way, you must check out her channel. I was in absolute stitches watching her yesterday. Um, she has the most amazing accent and um, she reminds me of a lovely lady that I know and haven't seen for a long time who used to teach my children how to uh, play musical instruments in school. And um, same accent. I do wonder if maybe they've come from the same area. Um, both heavily northern accents, but oh, she's amazing. She's so funny. Uh, but she does mention in her video about... Um, making sure that you cut this flush and uh, she does make a few jokes about being a perfectionist but having now made one I now understand why she was making it really clear that you just want to make sure you've not got any overhang so if you can just see what I've just done there I just literally now you should have a bit there and this will be open here but you just don't want it like folding over and catching so now we've done that bit there next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to take the bottom piece and we're going to fold it up here so 
fold it but leave just a smidgen of a gap there just so that when you do fold the top over it's not like rubbing on the other one sorry i just knocked you then um so give that a good flatten down give it any creases that's brilliant okay so this is the kind of technical bit now i got caught there no that's fine right so we're going to fold this bit over now so that's your your flat bit over the top that's our closure So I'm going to just grab my um, my bit of cork and I'm looking and thinking, oh my goodness, I thought I had everything out in front of me. I'm just looking for my craft knife and somebody's been at my desk. Ah, this is the only trouble working at the dining room table. Everybody treats my desk ah, as the tool station. So as they're walking past, like, mum, got scissors, mum, got a knife, mum, we've got this, got a pen. And I have, if you all keep wandering off in my stuff... I won't. Okay, so craft knife. Watch. Oh, I suppose I could do it on the mat, really, but I don't like to mark my mat. So you've got to make a little tiny, tiny, tiny little incision, and I mean tiny, tiny. There. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Just a little hole there, because that hole then is going to service. Oops. My split pin. I'm not quite sure if you all call it a split pin. Paper fastener. Split pin, that's the word, isn't it? Um, and I'm just going to... Oh, here we go. Right, I'm just going to attempt to hold on to this now. It jumps around the desk. <laughs> there we go. And we're through. And we're just going to open the legs. Which is always a little tricky. There we are. And pop it down. And there we are. It's in place. So, now that that's done, I'm just going to move this back out the way a second. See, I can feel a little bit of bulk there. I'm just going to kind of, um, I'm just going to trim that down a minute because if you don't do it now, it's a bit late once it's all glued and it's going to look a bit rubbishy if you've got stuff like oh, folding over. So just make sure it's all trimmed really well. There we go. Yeah, that folds over nice. So I'm just going to grab my glue. I've had in the pot upside down, so we'll probably come gushing out now. <laughs> Let's hope not. No, we're all right. There we are. So let's just stick that bit down there. And a little bit of glue right there. And then we're just going to glue this section here down as well. So that all of that stays intact. Back in the pot for you, Mr. Glue. And then we've got glue that down there and then that'll be our paper fastener then all fastened away and then I should still be able to just watch you don't glue that lip shut there okay whatever you do don't want that to, to catch and I'm still trimming there we go okay so that was the first step flap paper fastener Okay, second step, using whatever glue you like. I'm going to use this one because I like it and it's easy and it dries really fast. And I'm literally just going to put a line down there. And then I'm going to fold it back. Well, that dries just for a second. And then I should be able to, come on, don't fail me now, <laughs> there we go, ta-da, accordion folder, how cool is that, I love it, okay, so all we have to do then is add on a little closure, you can use a little bit of string, you can use some thick thread, me, I'm going to use some of this amazing eyelash that my mum bought for me. In fact, do you know what? I might go mad and get the pink stuff out. Oh, I didn't think I was going to use the pink. Oh my gosh, how lush is that? And somewhere, I've got an even lusher one. Let me show you this one. Oh, how cool are they? They remind me of... Um, oh, my other half loves this series on the TV, Walking Dead. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's a bit of a zombie apocalypse thing. But there's a character in there now. She's in the new series. And I can't even think what her name is. But she's got this really, like, 
thick pink fluffy coat on every time I see this it reminds me of her she's got these really wild glasses on her head as well but anyway completely digress so let's just pop that around um around the paper fastener see if I can do a little knot in it oh, I'm loving this eyelash this stuff is super cool yes 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 let me just cut that off there there we go and then we're going to just wind it round and we're going to wind it round and then that'll be enough I think and then we'll finish off winding it around my paper fastener oh looks like I'm being all fingers and thumbs there we go super go on stay down now oh well i think it looks super anyway so there we go so that's the first one done and that was really easy wasn't it i mean how cute does that look imagine that popping in your happy mail oh i'd love that open it up see what's inside okay so let's try another one just in case you didn't catch it the first time and because i just love making them i think my envelope is gaping a bit there so let me just take that one down a bit that was yesterday poorly made do apologize there we go that'll soon stick into place so just in case you didn't get it the first time i'm going to show you again and i think i'm going to cut that bit off there right so we're going to take the fold up where it folds we're going to cut straight down and try and really carefully not to cut through the um, other side. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to take off that excess there because, do you know what, you make these cuts and then paper pops up and it's like, where did that come from? It wasn't there just now. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. So fold that over now. Lift it up. Make a little hole. Where's my knife gone? There it is. Make a little incision. I feel like I'm about to do surgery when I have this knife in like this. There we go. And then paper fastener. Sew the little incision. Open the legs. Fasten it down. Ah, that's my bad thumb. Sorry. There we go. And then pop a bit of glue in there. multi-layered so I just need to make sure I pop the glue in all of the layers there we go so that's that bit done and then we are simply going to fold up the bottom up to the top now obviously because this is a plain brown paper bag this is slightly easier because um now something else that you can do that I didn't do on the last one but you can do is with the front um, flap, so obviously you might decide this at the point when you're making your brown paper bag, but what you can do is pop a bit of a notch in the bottom of this now. So this is actually the top of the bag. Think about when we're putting it together. Oh, please work my circle cutter. Oh, my circle cutter hates me at the moment. Sorry, guys. It, I don't know what's the matter with it. I've tried the foil. I've tried everything. And it just doesn't like it. So the only thing it'll cut cleanly is I'm cutting card. There we go. Right, there we are. So now when you fold that up, you've got like a little little thumb hole there. So get your glue. Little strip of glue down there. Now, uh, when Julia did it in her video, she used one of those really cool, like, rolly glue things. Um, I don't have one of them. It looks super cool, but I don't have one. So that's why I'm just putting a blob of glue in there. But it'll do the same job. Just need it to be sticky, that's all. And then we should be able to open our little accordion. I love it, it's so cool. And then fold it over, pop your flap down, and then tie a little bit of string around it. Now I'm not gonna use the pink eyelash on this, I'm gonna use a little bit more of this. But I've got to start going easy with this now, because it's like, mm, 
it's getting a bit thin on that gorgeous little shape. I'm going to put some Lisa in that, I think, when I finish using this. And then I have to get on and have a look where Mum got that stuff from, because it's fab. I love it. Working on the, um, the fall kit. Oh, this is the only shopping I got difficulty doing the knot with it. Working on the fall kit, it's been perfect, because it's like obviously fall colours, autumn colours, isn't it? Um, so I have actually got through quite a bit of it, which is nice, because I never, I don't ever tend to use... Well, I think we're all a bit bad for that, aren't we? We tend to like hoard stuff. You don't ever want to like use the, the last of anything. So, you know, I'm not going to panic if I do use it all. I just have to do something different then, don't I? There we go. So I'll pop that around there. Pop that around there. And then round and round. <laughs> okay, maybe in hindsight, eyelash isn't the best thing to use for this job because obviously it's quite thick but i just think it looks really cool so to decorate our little pockets what can we do well let's undo all this frizzy fluffy stuff a second so we can let the dog see the rabbit as they say and we'll have a little look what we're going to do so obviously the brown paper bag as um julia showed us completely lends itself to a little bit of stamping so i'm going to just grab my trusty mini stamp handle thing that mum got me the other day she's got this brilliant pack what have i done with it oh my goodness it's on my desk somewhere somewhere under all of this stuff is a plastic packaging thing with this i think there were three of them three different sizes there's a larger one and then a smaller one and a small one again which is this one but it's brilliant when you want to just do a quick little um bit of stamping um and you know with these ones here you want to make sure that they're nice and secure and then oh she says and then it goes flying right stay on there now go on behave Stop showing me up and there we go how cool is that so i'm just going to put a few little stamps on this just to make it look quite groovy and then a little sticker in fact no i tell you what i'm going to use i've got um some of the lovely things from oh i can't think of the name of it now off the top of my head my uh creative studios ha oh, yeah got there in the end see if i stop thinking about it i remember things then um yeah i'm going to use some of the beautiful embellishments um that I've had in the packs that they've sent because it's nice to be able to use them up. So let's have a look. This is the one I had, I want to say, in last month's pack. And there's some really gorgeous um, bits and pieces in here. So see, I did that owly one there, look. Um, so let's have a look if we've got what we've got in here. Oh, chocolate. So I'm to say that word jumped out at me then. <laughs> which is very nice, but I kind of want to try and stick with an autumn-y theme because I've got two different journals going on now. I've got my autumn one, and then I've got one then I'm making for um, our admin swap. Oh, that one's quite nice, isn't it, with these? Oh, it goes with my... Hmm, okay, so that one's a maybe. Um, yeah, so in our Facebook group, the admin team, we have been working on... Uh, a journal that we're going to swap with one of the other members of the admin team um so chrissy's heading that up for us and she's organizing also nobody knows who's making their journal if that makes sense so it's a bit of a kind of secret santa kind of thing but you know you know who you're making your journal for but they don't know you're making it does that make sense so i can't say an awful lot um but that's what i've made this kit for so um once I get that all sorted, then that'll go on. Hopefully tomorrow I should be able to get that onto our um, Etsy shop, that our new kit. So you'll be able to see then what I've been up to. Um, so I might use that, those two on there. And then for this one, I'm going to try some out of this pack, I think. Let's have a little look, see if there's something in here that will go with it. Now this is one of the earlier ones. I'm perhaps want to say maybe may i'm not entirely certain um i haven't been through yet so i'm just hoping oh that's cute 
Yeah. Oh, they are stickers too. Oh, cool. So, yep, that is definitely a sticker. So that's pretty cute, isn't it? I don't know if they're going to be a bit light, though, for this project. Oh, look, there's an autumn one there. Oh, I'm so glad I opened that. How cool is that? I love it. See, if I'd had a bigger envelope, I could have put that one on there. But I might keep that for my... Oh, I could have used that when I did my handwritten page. So what have we got coming up? Hmm. Oh, I'm going to make that work. Right, mind me, I've put that out because I'll forget after when I run off and and have tea and feed the dogs okay oh my goodness we had a night and a half of it last night um two puppies have gone already another two are due to go to their forever homes tomorrow um and then we've got two staying then until another two weeks because their new families are on holiday at the moment so they're staying with us for a bit longer um and we've just got one then remaining who's waiting for the right people to come along um, but everything had been done yesterday. Yep, they were all sorted. And then just going up to tidy up after the last food last night. Other half was out walking now. Big dogs. And oh my goodness, it was, she wasn't well. The oldest one. She she is actually granny to our current pups. Um, so her mum was one of our litters a few years back. But um, she was taken in well, and um, we didn't know what was wrong with her, but. Ended up with a trip down to the emergency vet. Oh my gosh, that was a half hour drive because it's not there's not one very near to us. Um, and we just didn't know what they were going to say. So obviously, forty five minutes later, a load of blood tests done, a rather expensive bill, and we were on our way back home with a very sheepish looking Chinoa. That's the name of her dog, and uh, she's now led here by the side of me in the puppy pen not in with the pups she's got the pen um and she stayed in here last night so she's she's a lot better today thankfully so not entirely certain what happened there we don't know whether she jumped and hurt herself or what i don't know but it was very frightening at the time very worrying and of course we have completely different roles i don't know what it's like in their house but um myself and my other half when it comes to anybody being poorly or um, or if, uh, you know, the children are ill or if one of the dogs are taken ill, um, I am very much the one who is practical and calm and, right, okay, let's get this sorted, you know. Uh, and my other half just completely falls apart, basically. So I came in to get a bowl of water to just... Uh, you know, clean her leg and just see if I could see what was going on. And um, she, she'd she been sat on a towel on the on the lawn in the garden outside, you know, because obviously they just come back from their walk and everything. And um, as I walked back out the back door, I could see she was, like, laid down. Well, I'm not joking, from where I was walking, she looked like she was just completely still. And I thought, oh, my gosh, what's happened? You know, I've only been in the house for two or three minutes. She hasn't died, is she? Oh, my goodness. And he was just sat there kneeling on the floor looking distraught. So when I, I walked over, she was like completely still and I had this bowl of water in my arms. And I was like, what's happened? What's wrong? What's, what, you know, she was okay just a second ago. And then I could see her tail in, thump, 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 like down the lawn. And then I said, do you know her? She lifted her head at then and I thought, oh. but of course, because he's such a flapper, she'd like, oh, was fully getting into it. You know, I think she thought she was at death door. I think he thought she was at death door. So obviously by the time we got down to the vets then, she was, um, she started to perk up a little bit, but uh, thankfully all was okay anyway. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this uh, book page I've got here. I went and had a quick look around the charity shops the other day and came across a rather nice book, all in French. I was like, oh, yes, please, I'll have that. But look, oh, and the lovely age the edge of the book pages are as well, so... I have no idea what any of it says. I have no idea what the book is about. <laughs> I think it's a, a, a murder mystery, actually. Um, I was just baffled that it was in a shop in our local town. Um, but I was like, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Because normally the only thing we find in our local second-hand bookshops that have got foreign languages in are um, travel books, you know. But, yeah, so that's very pretty. That's the only word I know. Yeah, perhaps I won't cover that up then. 
Perhaps I'll put that there like that. Yeah, there we go. So as I said earlier on, these stickers and labels are from um, my creative studio. Uh, you know, I do the unboxing. Um, so if you want to go and check out any of those, they'll be in some of the videos. But definitely go and check out the, um, the page because they do those great little boxes. All right, what should I put across the top? I'm going to use some of that washi, I think. Now, where did I put it? See, I'm so tidy last night and I've just shown nothing about it. Here we go. So that one is my ticket one. That's out of the... Ah, oh, here we are. These are all from the Creative Studios pack. But mm, really, I could have done with a more of a... Um, Oh, yeah. uh, right, so we can either go with a bit of green. I think that's a bit of William Morris, but that's a bit dark, isn't it? Or should we go with some of this? I think we'll use some of this. This is rather nice. And this is really long. So let's try and be smart about how we do this now. And we will cut down with me scissors. So anyway, yes, to cut a long, long story short, dog is much better today. Um, she had a good day's rest in the house with me. And, uh, well, she's still here chilling now, but she's at her food, she's been out, she's done the loo. So I don't know what that was all about, but um, bless her. When they get older, they do frighten you, don't they? She's, she's 10 now, so... Thankfully, though, it was seemed to be something really simple so just gotta keep an eye right let's just trim that down a little bit further because we don't want too much on this just a bit of color i'm really trying to make an effort to use my washi tapes more because i kind of when i first started off crafting i like gathered loads of them together and was like oh this is fun something else that i can collect <laughs> being a stationary collector as i am and then I was like, oh, I really ought to start using these. And I didn't really know what to do with them. And then I've actually watched quite a few videos lately where people have been using. I was like, oh, yeah, I never thought of using it like that. So there we go. I think that's that's fine. I'm not going to overdo it. And then we can just put a little bit of string around there then. And tie it up. Go on, round you go. That's the way. And I like it loose and curly at the front like that. I think it adds to the, the theme. There we go. So that's that one done. And then this one, what am I going to put on this one? Oh, I know. Haha, <laughs> I know. I'm going to put a little bit of this on there. Because I know that the lady that I'm making this journal for, she likes stuff like this. And she likes a little bit of lace and flowers. And I know she likes pink and lilacs purples so I think she'll like that on the bottom of there like that keep it a bit shabby chic just trying to think of some different ideas really if you give you some ideas on how to decorate them because the thing is making these pockets is just so darn easy it's nice then to be able to have a bit of time isn't it to decorate so if that's going to go around there like that I'm just trying to see what space we've got and then I'm gonna add this very beautiful I actually had two of them if I see I throw so much around when I'm crafting so we can either put that one there but I feel like that one's a bit big I think I want to put that one there or do I put that side oh I don't want to cover that beautiful butterfly I think it's gonna to have to go there because that's just gorgeous yeah loving that I know the pink is nice and I know it brings out the pink but it it just feels a bit big on there. So I'm going to go with this one. Decision made. Now, I've just realised I forgot to show you something that I did on the other one. And I didn't do it then on this one. So I'm going to just do one more and show you another kind of uh, cool element that I forgot there then. Hey, isn't that lovely? Right. Okay, that's that one done. Right, one more thing. Um, Which one shall I use? Let's use this one. Right, so I want, no, I do not want that side. I want the beautiful birds. Yep, so let's cut that bit off there. I think I'm 
think yesterday, all the hours I spent putting these blinking bags together. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I knew when I was making them, I was going to be cutting this bit off. And I was like, can we cut that off tomorrow? But never mind. Right, let's just shave that down a notch. There we go. And then perhaps that bit over there. Just so it doesn't get in the way. And I fold it over. And then folding down. Like that with that lovely bit of feather showing on it. And then we're going to fold that up, leaving a smidgen of a gap. Just to allow a little bit of space. Oh, Sammy bum folder. Because this thing is amazing when it comes to folding. Right, now I can see the overlap there. I'm just going to quickly trim that back because it looks awful and untidy. We can't have that. Right, then we're going to take our thing. Oh, I keep losing my craft knife. I need to get a different colour craft knife. It's just the wrong colour to find on my desk amongst the rest. I used to have a really good blue one with a soft... Uh, thing but the, it kept opening at the top so that had to go because it wasn't safe right now before I put this in what I did on the other ones was I got my circle cutter and I cut out a little circle and I inked it because of course you've got to ink our circles and then I put a little hole in the center I hope this is the center. I think it is. And then I put my split pin through that. Oh, there we are. That's a little way in there. And then I put my split pin through there. And did the thing with the legs. Down there, down there. Amazing. And then I got my glue. And I put a little bit of glue in here. And a bit under there, and then we stuck it down, and then we made sure that we didn't stick the flap in. Nope, that's fine because that would be a bit annoying if I had. And then I put my bit of glue down here, and then I stuck it shut, and then I folded it down. And now I'm realizing I should have cut that bit off there, so I'm just gonna. Just get under there a minute and take that excess off there because that's annoying me. You know when you just know it's going to be in the way? Yeah, I could see it then straight away and I thought, ah, darn it, I should have cut that just now. Because I've got to be able to get in there now. Look, oh, I'm so awkward. I need to get a smaller pair of scissors when I can do that. There we are brilliant now doesn't that look better and then when it comes to putting your string around it then obviously it just provides a bit more room when you need to wind it around i thought i was looking thinking that's not going on there tidy but of course i mean it's not a huge thing you don't have one on there but it does just look it just looks nice and tidy doesn't it so when i thread this now um I wonder if I could put some of the blue on there, actually. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that would be a little bit too much. But there we go. So I'm going to decorate this one up a little bit later. That's everything for today, guys. Just to give you an idea. So if I just bring these back over here now. Let me just do this up tidily because that's a bit untidy, isn't it? And I do wonder if I do need all that on there, actually. I don't think I do. I think that's the problem. So let's just cut that off. There. Amazing. So even though I forgot the thing, it still looks super cute. I love it. I just love all the fluff. It's brill. So on this one, I used um, some of uh, these pearl effect things. I think they one got a bit squished because I took them this morning up to show them what I've been making. So she's got her bag ready. She's all ready to go, waiting for the tutorial. 
Um, so there's the brown paper bag one that we did just now. And there's another brown paper bag one that I did yesterday. And there's just some ideas there of how you can decorate. Obviously that one I've also put through the embossing machine. So that's that one. That's a mini, mini brown paper bag one. My goodness, it's so tiny. And all I've done there is stamp on the bag. Um, I've put a little bit of thread around and I've got a tiny, tiny little paper fastener. And I've also used the, the pearl things, but just not very tidily do. I, I'm just practicing. Now this one, I made a bit of a mess and I accidentally cut through. So you know when you're cutting the one side and I was saying like, okay, for now it's not cut way through. The reason for that is because this bit gets loose, but what I've done is I've just added washi inside and out and it's perfectly fine. So there we go. How cute is that? I think that's lush. There we are. So that's my little fastener for that. Oh, I'll pop that back on later. I'm not going to fiddle with that in a minute. And then there's this one here. This is my other autumn one. And I've got a little squirrel on there. I made this using um, some of our new kit that has just gone on today into the Etsy store. And these here I have made, these are the labels from Your Creative Studio and I've used some of the scraps from um, that kit to just embellish these. So they're also ready to be used on some something to embellish. So I've popped those in there because obviously that's what it's for. And then we can just do it up. I love it. And obviously I remember with this one to put the, the round disc on. Yeah, it's much better with the disc. We can get that on there and then this one also used a page from the new kit this was the um these are the tear sheets and there we go there you've got and of course i've printed on both sides you don't have to print on both sides and obviously if you want to just make a brown paper bag you can use brown paper and then that will be brown on both sides and again all i did with that was just add some of those pearl things i didn't want to over embellish this one because i thought that the paper was great now obviously you can um if you've got a brown paper bag you can add um design paper on top um i felt that i wanted this to go into my ideas journal so i wanted it to stay quite flat which is why it, for me it was important to use uh patterned paper and then of course this is the lovely one that we've just made um with my gorgeous pink eyelash courtesy of bella and then in here then we've got oh so just watch now let me make sure that your pockets are opening because mine started to stick there ah darn it come on there we go here we go. Panic over. And here, look, I've double um, printed that, so that's got a nice little design inside as well. But I think that looks really cool with that flower. Super for happy mail. Really super for happy mail. Um, but yeah, so there we go. These are our paper bag pockets um, with the accordion style folder pocket inside. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I hope you found it easy to follow. If there's anything you weren't sure of, just rewind it, check out the steps again, um, and keep making your paper bags because I will be back tomorrow with yet another um, idea of what we can do with them. So have a great evening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment just so that I will be visible to other people so they also can enjoy the videos. But I really appreciate all the comments that you've left this week. So have a great evening and we'll be back with you very soon. Take care now. Bye.